What is going on heroes and villains? It is I, Shubi, and today is Crypt Event number 57 day. It says to follow a path of death and mold to receive a gift that never gets old. This is a 24-hour event, so it is only for today. So make sure you get in there and get it. But this is quite an awkward journey, so I'm going to rush to get to the underbelly of the crypt, and then we're just going to kind of you know, play it by ear. This is, I believe, the third crypt event that is of these, like, bigger new style of crypt events, and there's a lot of good stuff in here, so make sure you follow along. So, once we're in the underbelly of the crypt, we're gonna run straight through Goro's Great Hall, then take a right in Goro's Lair. And this first entrance along the wall, we're gonna follow that, and we're gonna end up in the what is it treasure chamber you go through that right wall and you follow these paths and in the left corner over here you should be able to just walk right in there if you haven't uh, like opened that gate yet you need to go in through this way break this wall down with your hammer and then the chronica time vault crypt event will be right there hopefully it's not too confusing but either way i will be showing y'all on the map after we check out these rewards where we are located okay so you can see we have a scorpion and devora brutality as well as a Kano Cybernetic Heart, another Corona for Cetrion, a Frost Mask, and a, a pair of Johnny Cage Shades, as well as Blades of Terror, Brock Arm Blades, another Frost item, which is the back piece, a Shao Kahn Helmet, and a Cabal Face Shield. So here we are on the map. As you can see, this is like for the underbelly of the crypt at that top spot there. That's where we entered. And at the bottom left is where we currently are right now. I put a little start and finish there just to make it easier. So anyway, here is the cybernetic heart for Kano. It's okay. Uh, it's just super circular, super basic. Doesn't change much between the skins. Now this is a super ornate piece for Cetrion. Most of her pieces are pretty ornate anyway, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool headpiece. Here are the shades for Johnny Cage. He moves around so much it was kind of hard to get like a good picture of it. But there's a couple of shades in there that already are that style. Now for these Baraka blades, they actually resemble some that are already in the inventory, but they're very unique because that thicker part of the blade goes up farther towards the tip than the other ones that look almost exactly like this one. Same, but different, but still same. Here's the frost mask. It's got some neon stuff in it, and I'm all about that. It's a lot of colors within there, and it looks good with pretty much any skin. And here is the back piece. Very smooth, a lot of little LED lights on there, but I think the one we got last time is a lot cooler. Here's the Shao Kahn helmet. I believe this is one of the first times Shao Kahn received something in a combat league. So this is the reward, and it's very similar to some of his other helmets, so much so you can't really tell a difference. Now, with this Cabal mask, it's ridiculous looking because he just looks super sad, like a depressed frog Cabal, and uh, it's kind of goofy looking in my opinion, but, you know, if goofy is your thing, then this is perfect for you and your melancholy ass. Alright, so now we go over to the Brutalities. The first is Heartless, and I like these brutalities both of them because you don't need a specific move or ability because uh, this is all based on your base move so for this your last move has to be the spear and you've had to have landed it five times before super simple you don't even have to hold anything after the fact so now let's look at the creepy crawler devora brutality and this is just doing the killer b combo you have to get the first hit and you have to have above 50 percent health other than that it's still pretty cool looking swipes underneath him takes out his legs and then she suspends from a string web that god only knows where it comes from all right so now let's move over into the premium shop so you can check out what is in there right now that Sub-Zero bundle, I think, is probably the best item in there for today, uh, just because it's something that's not in there quite often, and you can't get it by other means right now. So that's definitely a plus if you don't have those skins.
Now, surprise, surprise, a new season has begun for Combat League, and it's the first regurgitated season. So this was the skins for the very first Combat League season, and they put them back in here. They're in different orders. So the Scorpion one's at the very top, um, and where it was the easiest to get before. Now it's the hardest one to get. So it just gives people the ability to kind of get skins they missed out on. But the gear and other rewards are all going to be new. And I hope in the future that we get more unique looking gear pieces since they're going to be regurgitating the skins. And they can hopefully put more focus on more unique and just cooler looking gear pieces that we'd be willing to endure Combat League for. Okay, and that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget that um, giveaway is still going on. So put your preferred console type and your main in Mortal Kombat 11. And you've entered up to the 1st of January to uh, be a winner of a little gift card. Anyway, I'm Shuby. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all's time, and I'll see you all in the ultimate. <laughs>